Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Outer Wilds. Uh, so today, it, uh, it seems, it seems like we may have missed something, uh, when we go, when we went to talk to, uh, Solanum on the, uh, on the Quantum Moon. Uh, so apparently with the, those little speed stones, or projection stones, or whatever you want to call them, Apparently, it's not just a orange to blue ratio uh, that gives you dialogue options. You can actually do like the the blue stone to blue stone, uh, and maybe orange to orange. I'm not 100% sure on that, uh, in all honesty. Uh, but I was thinking that we would go back there and get that out of the way, just so that we can kind of get a uh, a clear path or a clean path moving forward. Uh, where I don't have uh, just kind of a lingering, uh, I guess, task to go back and do. Where is this shindig? Where are you, buddy? There he is. Boom. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and engage autopilot. Let's bring up... Can I get a picture of it? It's in there. It's in the picture. My scout uh, might might uh, fly out of this uh, star system, but... Uh, at least we got a picture of it. It shouldn't disappear. Uh, so... Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try to make this quick, and I'm gonna try to get through the dialogue options, and then whatever leftover time we have, I might begin expl exploring the next planet, uh, in line, which is convenient, because that might be Giant's Deep. Um... I'm not really too sure on that. I'm gonna have to double-check on that as well. Okay, I'm gonna get another picture of that. Autopilot, you are uh, not not doing great for me here, pal. Uh, yeah, so at some point we are gonna move on to the next planet. Uh, there is also, I believe that I might have missed something with the Black Hole Forge uh, and or the white uh, the white hole. What is it called? The white hole teleport. Gosh, what, the White Hole Station is what it's called. <laughs> I'm draw I was drawing a blank there. Okay, what have I landed on? Am I on a rock? I am on a rock. Great. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and hop out. That's not the button to hop out. Grab our suit. Out the hatch. Now... Oh, uh, you've taken some damage. You poor, poor ship. I don't even know why I'm really repairing that. Okay, so we are on the South Pole, and I need this fine shrine. If you could just go ahead and open up, that'd be fantastic. So, we are trying to get to... Oh, wait, I didn't want to do that. Why did I bring up the lights? That's not how this works at all. That's not how any of this works. Okay, here we go. So, we are going to Timber Hearth. I said Timber Hearth. I said Timber Hearth. Thank you. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to control that. I don't think you can control. I think it's just completely random which location you end up at. Uh, so we need to go. It's not Timber Hearth. It's not Timber Hearth, is it? Back in. Hang on. What planet was it? Was it Timber Hearth? Why am I drawing a blank right now? Man, my memory is not great, apparently. Uh, okay. I, okay, hang on now. Okay, that's sixth location. And, okay, this is Giant Steep where we were at. Sorry, guys, I know what I'm doing, kinda. <laughs> not really. Apparently, it's a, uh... It's been a heck of a day. Because even though I pulled this off perfectly the last time, I have no idea what I'm doing this time. Okay, so shrine. Oh, great. Okay, now we go to Timber Hearth. I skipped a step. That's my problem. Yeah, so much for uh, thinking that I would have extra time to go visit some other planet. Or the next planet in line, which would be... Giant Steep. And Timber Hearth, easy enough. 
Thank you. We might as well go check if I missed anything at the Black Hole Forge. Um, I believe there might be a projection stone that I missed there, and if that's the only thing that I missed, that's great news, because that's going to be fairly simple. Sorry if you guys get dizzy easy. <laughs> okay, there's the shrine, but it's not north. It's not exactly north. Here we go. Now we're in business. Now we are in business. We can go ahead and close that up. And we will go to the sixth location. And we will go to the sixth location. And we will go to the sixth location. Look at that. Look how simple that was. Great. Really killing it. Ooh, interesting. Okay, so the shrine didn't point towards... Salonum that time, like it has been. I have to be very careful here. I'm gonna just freaking fling myself <laughs> out of this freaking uh, out of this freaking place. Hey, you remember me? Who are you? You give me your speech options. Okay, so uh, so here's what I was saying, just to explain it in more detail. Um, last episode, I was thinking that these like orange or I guess gold stones or whatever it was a one-to-one -one ratio so you would take this take one of these take this take that take this take that take this take that take this take that blah, 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 you know and so so on and so forth and you would get all the speech options but uh what I have been told um in my comments section sorry I don't know uh the name of the person of the, who made the comment I apologize um, usually I'm pretty good at checking that. I apologize. But thank you for calling this out. Okay, so we have, what? Uh, the Me Stone and the Quantum Moon Stone. And this is, gives us extra dialogue that I skipped out on. So thank you for that hot tip. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, is this your first time to the Quantum Moon? It's my first time here. I got some bad news for you, buddy. On the, uh, the other locations that the Quantum Moon goes to, you are not alive. Uh, if you've come here looking for answers, I hope you find them. That's it? That's all the dialogue you got for me? Are you looking at me through, like, those little peepholes? Okay, so here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put this back in here. Uh, nope, we're gonna go, nope, we're gonna go for this one. And we're gonna just kinda go through and mix and match. Suppose you could reach the eye of the universe. Would you try to enter it? Oh, heck yeah. Uh, what do you imagine the effects of conscious of a conscious observer might be? I don't know, man. I have no idea. Okay, we'll plop that back in there. Grab this one. Okay, hey. Uh, can I have your uh, writing utensil and take it back to my people? So that we can, uh, you know, maybe learn how to communicate with you. Uh, we do not have much connection, you and I. Yeah, that's true. Still, this encounter feels special. I hope you won't mind if I think of you as a friend. Bring it in, pal. Bring it in. Best friends. Best, fin uh, best friends forever. Unfortunately, you are, uh alive or maybe you are alive I don't know that's uh that gets a lot of that gets a little too sciencey for me if I'm being honest uh okay so quantum moonstone so we already did that with you so now we can combine the two what dialogue do you got for us I imagine you've noticed the quantum moon changes in appearance depending on which location uh, it is currently orbiting. For instance, the moon looks quite different when orbiting Giant's Deep than it does when orbiting the Hourglass Twins. Because the quantum moon clearly changes in its different forms, the eye, being, being the moon's primary location, must be 
uh, similarly malleable, mal malleable, mal malleable, malleable. <laughs> Yikes, English. Uh, okay, so from this, we can hypothesize that the eye represents extreme changeability. Uh, that said, despite its malleable uh, nature, the quantum moon becomes locked to one specific version of itself when it is consciously observed. Right. Um, yes, correct. That is correct. But what would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? That's a good question. Uh, and maybe someday we'll be able to send my scout in and take some pictures, but I don't know where the eye is to take a picture. Is it up that way? I can't take a picture. Ooh, I did take a picture. Oh. Oh. Um. Okay, I can t take a picture. We might try that. I might try to take a picture when I leave here and just fling myself out on, on out of there. He did say in one of these dialogue options, like, that is the eye, right? Or did I miss that? I might have to go back and uh, reread some of that. Okie doke. Uh, like many of my clan before me, I journeyed here to see the quantum moon's reflection of the eye. Okay. This is the closest any of us have come to seeing the eye itself. Okay, so that's not the eye. It's a reflection of the eye. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached its end. Oh, man. You said we had a connection. I got some bad news for you, buddy. Bring it in. Bring it in here, pal. Uh, you are not alive. You are not alive. Well, I mean, you are alive, like, here. But you're not alive... Out there. <laughs> okay, so, Quantum Moonstone. I should have left that one in there, because these are the last two that we have. And... Hey. 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 There we go. Uh, I and you. Did we already do this one? Uh, many of my clan believe the eye is call uh, the eye called to us for a particular purpose. When I was a child, I used to believe the eye was uh, malev. Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> malevolent. Oh gosh, uh, that's gonna okay. Words, man. Uh, I'm just gonna keep going to have lured my clan uh, to this uh, star system only. Uh, to then vanish from them so completely. But I don't fear the eye anymore. In fact, it became my fondest hope to see the eye itself someday, and I fear this may be beyond my reach. You may think I'm strange, but I have a hypothesis that I may not be entirely alive. Perhaps my journey has reached an end. Didn't we just read that? No, we read this one. This one's the same one. Um... Can we do the two orange ones? Because that means that's the two. Does that do anything? Oh, he is writing. Or she is writing. I think uh, Solanum was referred to as a she. Um, it? Them? I don't know. Uh, I don't know for sure, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, these are two tenets of the of know my philosophy to seek out and to understand is our way of living. Okay. Cool. So my shift log did get updated. Uh, I am so sorry, Solanum. You said we had a connection, but like I put your stones back in the wrong place. And okay, okay. You know, you said you said we had a connection. You said we had a connection. You're right. I'm not gonna be a jerk. You're right. No, you're right. You're absolutely right. Hey, uh, I gotta go. Um, we did really have a... We had a connection. We had a connection. But, uh, you know, I got some other stuff to do. So, with that being said, this is a, ref a quote-unquote reflection of the eye. 
Let's just try it. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, now I'm just like super curious. What if we took a picture of Solanum? And then, uh, came back to, like, see the corpse. I need to find my ship. I need to go find my ship. I wonder if it's still on, uh, Giant's Deep. I keep wanting to call it Helm's Deep. Uh, and that is a completely different fandom altogether. Take me to my ship. If it's still here, please. Thank you. It's a little wet. It is a little wet. Okay, well, we don't have a whole lot of time left. I think my ship has been, you know, not here. Ooh, can I? Hmm, can I do something like this? Wow, that, uh, the frame, frame rates really dropped there holy crap <laughs> oh crap my uh my ship oh i see what has happened the gravity <laughs> nice uh the gravity cannon oh hey how are you how are you nice to see you nice to see you uh, sorry, not the gravity cannon. The, uh, the black hole in the center of Birdle Hollow sucked in the gravity cannon. Wait, that is what I wanted to say. Gravity cannon. Man, I am very scramble-brained today for some reason. Um, shoot. I'm not 100% sure the best way to handle this. <laughs> Can you let me in? Let me, just let me in. Let me in. Thank you. Okay, great, thank you. Man, the frame rates. Not doing great. Can you put me on the floor, please? Oh, okay. Hey, I have the thing. I have this thing. Um, Blapature, I know what I've missed now. I know what I've missed. Hang on. Oh gosh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. I don't think I'm going to have enough time. But at least now I kind of know what I've missed. I did not check out this thing. Because there's no stupid, uh... There's no, uh, like, um, projection board here. So we have to be holding this when we get teleported to Brittle Hollow. And then I think there is a projection board over here, right? Or no. That might be a no. No, there is this is a this is a huge y'all. <laughs> Did we already do this? I can't remember if we've done this or not. Rami and I reviewed the records you sent, Pokey, and they appear to show no Mai are arriving at the warp receiver on Birdo Hollow slightly before uh, departing from the White Hole Station. Warp receiver are arriving at the warp receiver on Birdo Hollow slightly, slightly before departing. Okay. Uh, I understand it's exceedingly odd, but Clary and I have tested and retested the equipment, and the result is the same every time someone warps. The interval is incredibly minuscule, roughly one hundred thousandth of a second. Do you suppose our instruments can't accurately measure time such uh, time to such a small degree? As I've already told Rami, these measurements can't be accurate. How can Anomai arrive on Birdo Hollow before he or she ever stepped into the teleporter? The implications are absurd. Pokey, as Pi is confident the reading is inaccurate, she kindly helped me attempt to recreate uh, this phenomenon at the High Energy Lab. 
Uh, we're designing an experiment to take uh, more data and update, Pokey. The high energy lab is in the canyon on Ember Twins Equator. Come here at once. You need to see this. I don't disagree. It would mean I've inadvertently broken several fundamental theories regarding this universe. We would have to reconsider all of our beliefs about the nature of time. Yes, I hope so too. Hey, shift log updated. Okay, great. Blapature. I figured it out. I'm coming here at once. Ooh. Right. Okay, so I don't think we used this one before. This is at the uh, this is at the high energy lab. Uh this is kind of like the top of it beyond those stairs over there. Ow. Beyond those or beyond those stairs over there is the uh, the stairs down in the entrance to the high energy lab. Cool. So we did learn something else. Don't play the music. Oh, for the love of God, don't play the music yet. Cut that out. Stop it. I have one other thing to do. Moon, can you just chill? Or moon, sun, sun. Can you please just chill out for maybe like five seconds? Oh, there's no way. I I forgot. I cannot get to the bot. Ow. Ow. My face. <laughs> my body. My legs. My arms. My whole body. Um, okay, so... I did miss something in the White Hole Station. So, that whole conversation was basically... Uh, we've already kind of heard that discussion before, and how... Um, things arrive before they get teleported. We learned about that whole conversation in the high energy lab. So, uh, the, the stone we found, uh, seems to be the origins of that entire study. Uh, and what they're saying is, I, I guess, when I'm teleporting from the White Hole Station, uh, to Bertle Hollow, I, I, uh, I don't know. I essentially exist in two spaces. Um, for, I guess, a brief period of time. I wonder if we could see that. Um, I wonder if I could, like, draw... I don't know. I don't know how we would test that. Uh, but anyway, guys, next episode, I think we're gonna return to Brittle Hollow. I'm gonna try to get into the Black Hole Forge, because I believe I did miss a, um, a projection stone in there as well. Um, and if it means updating the ship log, then I definitely want to go back and, and get it. Um, and hopefully that will only take a few seconds, and then maybe we can move on to a different planet at that point. Uh, we'll see how long that takes. But, Blapager, I think I found what you were talking at on the White Hole Station. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, for the rest of you, if you enjoyed this episode, please definitely leave a like and a comment below. It definitely helps me out quite a bit, uh, and I would really appreciate it. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you are not subscribed already, I do put out daily gaming videos, so be sure to do that so you don't miss anything, and I will see you on the next episode.